What's going on guys? Jessica here, also known as Resale to Ride. Today's video is a viewer request. I was asked how to create and how to utilize eBay listing templates. And that's actually something that I just learned how to do myself in the last couple of weeks. And for me, it's been a massive game changer. I'm now listing more items every day and I'm listing them quicker. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share my computer screen with you guys and take you from the eBay home screen into the seller hub and into listing templates. And then I'm gonna show you how I utilize them myself. I'm hoping that um, if you guys aren't already using this uh, this tool, that you will and it will help you get things listed and free up a little bit of time for you as well. So uh, before we get into that, if you would, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. I'm at 96 subscribers as of filming this and I am just so excited to get to 100 subscribers. Uh, it seemed like a pipe dream when I first started doing this. I've been a YouTuber for about two and a half months, I think. And it's, it's been really fun and I, I really wanna continue making content like this, uh, making estate sale videos, making bins videos. So uh, if you guys are into that kind of content, please uh, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave me a comment down below. If there's something you have a question about from this video, please ask. I will be happy to um, help you out and answer any questions that I can as best as I can. And if there's any tips that you have, if there's something that I'm missing in this, um, I'm still new to it. So if you have any tips for me, please let me know down below. I will greatly appreciate it. So, uh, well, let's get into it. Here we go. Sorry, I'm kind of sitting in the dark. Just uh, when I had the light on, it kind of washed me out. So this is how we're doing this. We're gonna go screen share. Let me get you guys pulled up on eBay here. This thing pulls up so many windows. Go away. You minimize. Thank you. All right, so here we are on the eBay homepage. To get to, we need to get to our seller hub. So over here, you're gonna click, just click on my eBay. And we're gonna go down to selling over here on the left. That's gonna take us to our seller hub. And we're going to create a listing template. These things have been an amazing help for me. I always heard people talk about them and I thought, uh, eh, I'll learn it eventually. I'm glad I did because my listings are up instead of doing, uh, stretching myself to do 15 listings a day, which doesn't sound like much to a lot of people. Um, I'm now doing 20 with a lot more ease and I have a little bit more time to get other things done. Uh, because uh, as well as being a full-time reseller, I am also uh, taking care of uh, the home. Zena works outside of the home. She works a very physical job. So I try to make sure she has dinner and things, you know, so uh, anyway, we're going to go to listings and you can always click in these little drop down menus that pop up, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to go over here to the left. So we're in the listings hub. We're going to go over here to listing templates and we are going to click this blue button here. You can see I have some already made up. These are ones I've been using the last few days. We're going to go to create new template on that blue button there. And I need to make a template for uh, vintage Levi's. I am trying to sell more clothing. So I think this will help me out a lot. So we're gonna start with our template name and it's going to be Levi's. Most of my Levi's that I sell are uh, men's. So I'm gonna put, um, let's just do Levi's. Let's do like this. Let's do vintage Levi's men's. And this is just, uh, the template name is something that only you will see. This is, you know, just when you're in that template screen, you'll be able to find them quickly. So the pictures, you'll put those in listing by listing. The next thing we're gonna do is our title. In the title, you're, you're of course not gonna fill it out completely. You just wanna put in things that will, uh, words that, keywords that will be in every listing for vintage Levi's uh, men's jeans or whatever you are uh, selling. So I'm going to put Levi's men's vintage. Those are pretty much the only uh, absolutes that I know will be in every vintage Levi's listing. So I'm going to put those. If you are doing something that you know exactly what uh, bucket or whatever um, uh, storage system you have for your inventory, you can go ahead and fill in this custom label SKU if you like. Mine, um, my clothing is all done with the little stickers that have um, numbers. So that's gonna be different every time. So I'm gonna leave this blank. But if you fill it in, any of these items that you fill in, 
when you click on that um, uh, template to use it, those items will be there. So if you uh, know what you're doing, like when I did action figures, I knew they were all going into a certain file cabinet. So I just put tan file cabinet here. So they all have the same skew. So your next step is your item category. Um, and it's going to click there. Like it's, it always pops up other antiques for me. I don't know if it'll be different for you guys, but it should be the same. Um, so you're going to click on that and then it's going to suggest for you. This right here is exactly what we need. Clothing, shoes and accessories, men's, men's clothing, jeans. So that's the exact category that we need. So we'll click on that. And that's going to populate the item specifics for that category down here. This box has been popping up the last couple of times. List faster. You can just click these boxes and it'll autofill them in specifics. But I'm going to leave that blank so that I can show you guys down here. So in item specifics, brand, these are Levi's. Uh, type, jeans. Size, regular. And you can click on any of these to drop down. Like there's big and tall or regular. Regular is my is my average, so I'll just leave it at that. And a lot of these you're going to fill in based on uh, you know listing by listing basis. So you have your size, your style, inseam, color. They're normally blue, but I'll, I'm going to leave that um, and I'll fill that in later. Department men auto filled that for me. Fit regular, relaxed, classic. These are all things that uh, like on jeans or on clothing you'll want to fill this in listing by listing. So um, let's see, fabric type, it's gonna be denim. I don't think I've ever sold any Levi's that weren't denim. Theme, um, I'm gonna put uh, USA because most of the vintage Levi's that I sell are made in USA, but I can always change that if they differ a little. But this'll, this'll make it a little easier for me to have that already uh, taken care of. Material, what do they got? They're normally always cotton. Vintage Levi's are always 100% cotton as far as I have found. Region of manufacturer, United States for me. Features, accents, closure. There's a lot of different, um, we're gonna click yes on vintage. A lot of different uh, items to click on for jeans. Um, I did yesterday, I worked on, I actually have some sitting here next to me to work on again today. These little tiny charms, they're little bitty, uh, these, like this is celluloid. There's a little top hat. It looks like it's from Monopoly, but it's actually a charm. Um, I made a template for these and the item specifics for these, there's like three things you click on, but it's the same on all of them. So it made it really easy for me to breeze through 20 listings of charms. So um, it, this is gonna vary. You'll have, sometimes you'll have a ton of stuff to look at like these, but keep in mind, uh, once you've clicked the ones that you normally use, uh, you won't have to click them again. So that's less clicks per listing and you'll get your listings done a little quicker. We've got pocket type. They're normally a five pocket design. That is typical of jeans. Um, and I think that's all I'm going to put. So next you're going to scroll down and you're going to have condition. New with tags or pre-owned. These are going to be pre-owned. They are vintage. You can fill in an item description here or condition description here if you'd like, but I normally put that down in uh, the description. So I'm gonna uh, double space there because I always take my title and I will copy and paste my title here um, so that that's there in the description. That's because my, my title has uh, all the keywords. So I just put that there. And then here I'm going to put pre-owned. Uh, let's see. Oh gosh, I have a lot of things I put in these normally. Um, made in, a lot of people don't put much in their description. I do, I can't help it. Made in the USA. Um, normally there will be like the waist size and stuff there. And then I'll have, um, let's see, let's do this men's size, oops. Gosh, I need to plug in my computer. It got a little dark on me all of a sudden. There it is. Okay, there you go. Men's size. And then I'm going to leave a blank there because I'll fill that in. Men's size, whatever. Um, and then I'll do this. Because uh, I always put actual measurements in all of my listings. Oops, I hit caps. Actual measurements. actual measurements and I always put laid 
Oops. I'm not the best typer, guys. I'm doing my best here. Sorry. I feel like I'm much faster when I'm not uh, making a video and under a little bit of pressure. So actual measurements laid flat. So they know that these measurements were taken laid flat, even though it's in the listing in the pictures. People, they don't pay attention and they don't read. So they may not actually read this, but who knows? So I normally put the number like it's say 26 inches, right? Um, I'm going to leave that part blank though. And then also I'll put 26 inch waist. But since we're not actually using that number, that'll be a basis by basis. I can actually put the inch mark there. So we want to do waist. We want to do inseam. And uh, what else do I measure? Waist, inseam. I do rise and waist, inseam, rise. I think that's all I'm going to do. I normally do more, but I've been kind of thinking, you know, a lot of the extra measurements I do, I normally do uh, the opening at the ankle. Um, I normally do the out seam, like the side seam. I think I'm going to stop putting those in because, uh, and, and leave those as a um, ask questions if you need more information. Um, so then I always put, uh, please see pics for further condition details and measurements. Feel free to ask. Let's see. Additional measurements if needed. Let's see. Okay, so pre owned, made in the USA, men's size, and it'll have like 32, 32, or whatever. Actual measurements laid flat, waist, inseam, rise. Those are the most important, I think. Uh, I put rise because if it's a, a, a lady who like some of the younger girls, they like to know how they, they're into the high rise jeans kind of right now still, I think. So they want to know how tall they are. Um, please see pics for further condition details and measurements. Feel free to ask for any for additional measurements if needed. Okay. So that'll work. So pricing, pricing is going to be based, is going to be based on the jeans, um, based on their age, based on, are they distressed? Sometimes distressed helps them sell faster. So I'm going to do that uh, based on listing. Look at this median sold price, 50 bucks. Let's click on this. You can always click here, see similar items. What do they say? Look at that, $50 for these 1980s 501s. I actually have a couple pair of 501s I need to get listed, but I believe they're 90s. Uh, let's see. So that's cool. You can check that out, get a median price. Of course, I always have, as you guys can see, I have extra tabs open up here. I have Terapeak open, so I can just click over. And I also have... This is where I was looking up some of these little, look how cute these little charms are. I actually listed one of these yesterday. So I always have these two tabs open. So when I'm doing a listing, I can check them real quick. So I can go in here and put uh, vintage Levi's. Oh, there we go. Vintage Levi's 501. And I already have over here on the left, scroll down. I already have sold clicked. So you can see the, prices are in green that tells you these are what these jeans are selling for if you want to get your sell through rate of course unclick that and you'll see how many listings there are for uh unsold as well go away little thing we need that tab right there okay so back to this so that's how you're going to get your pricing um and of course that's based on you know individual basis so we'll do that later allow offers um anything over five dollars i always leave allow offers clicked so you can just unclick or click so I'll always leave that. Uh, shipping. Typically a pair of jeans is going to be about two pounds. So I'll put two pounds in here. And they normally fit in a 13 by 10 by one poly bag. Typically. Um, so that will stay the same for me. And of course I can change it as we have talked about already. Um, cost type flat. I do calculated, so I want to change that to calculated. Come on, there we go. So here is where you're going to add in your uh, mailing service. You can do parcel select ground. It is a little cheaper, but 
I am going to do priority. You can do flat rate on these, but sometimes jeans are a little hard to fit into the flat rate envelopes. I know if you guys watch Dixon's Pickens, he is like, I to me, he's like the guru of clothing. I know that uh, he has his own guru of clothing, uh, but uh, I love watching him and seeing how he does this stuff. So um, he uses the uh, legal flat rate envelope. It's like a cardboard envelope. And uh, he, he gets stuff to fit in there. So he gets uh, his stuff out a little bit cheaper that way. But I have not had an issue with shipping um, jeans, vintage Levi's especially, priority. Uh, it gets it to them fast. Flat rate is priority, but it does cost a little bit more in some instances. So I do that. International shipping already done. Uh, preferences. I do three day. I probably should be doing two day, but like today you know, and a couple of days this week, we've had bad weather. So um, three days gives me that little buffer if I can't get out the house or uh, I drive a, uh, a pickup. So it has no weight in the back and I'd rather not go out. So there's my zip code. Now you guys know where I live. Uh, done. So I changed that to three business days. And preferences, this I normally just leave that alone. Sometimes, for some reason, uh, some templates will give you the option for um, promoted. And I normally do, I promote everything at whatever the suggested rate is. And there'll be a little toggle button. It'll be right in this area. For some reason, it's not on this one. So anyway, so we've got everything filled in. Let's review it real quick. And then I'll show you how to use one. So we have Vintage Levi's Men's. That's our template name. So I can find it quickly. Levi's men's vintage and put these in the order you want them to be in. Um, let's see. Here's your custom SKU. You can fill that in as you please. We've got your item specifics. And a lot of that you will do uh, item to item basis. Condition, pre-owned. They're always going to be pre-owned. I doubt I'll ever find uh, new, but that would be amazing. And we've got, this is going to show up every single time. All I have to do is punch in my numbers here. Um, and then I'll, I will copy and paste there. Uh, we've got buy it now. Price will be varied. Allow offers. Shipping is set. Preferences set. Save template. So this is going to take a second and it'll save it. We'll hit done. Thank you. Congrats. That's so polite of you. So here, here are the templates that I already have made. We're going to scroll down to... It's going to always put them in um, alphabetical order. So vintage Levi's. So say I have a pair of Levi's that I want to do. We'll do a mock-up here. I won't uh, push this uh, all the way through. But so we hit this little arrow right here, create listing, and it's going to take me to a listing. And this is, here we go, provide photos for your listing. So you'd put your photos in there. And here's our title, say, uh, Let's say they are 501. We're just going to do a quick mock-up. Levi's 501 uh, jeans. Say their size. I don't have to work, type the word size. Let's do, let's do 34 by 32. In a dreamland, that is my size. Uh, men's vintage. We've got jeans. Levi's 501 jeans. Blah, blah, blah. men's vintage distress usa blue oops let's say um there's normally more that i put in here whatever keywords you're going to put in there put them in there we'll, we'll go with this for now that's pretty basic so list you can do list faster say um they're going to be all of my codes, the stickers that I use are four digits. So I'm just going to, we're mocking it up. Custom SKU 0001. Item category is already filled in for us. And here we go. Here are the things that are filled in already. Levi's, jeans, regular. And we said, what size did I say? 34, 32. So they're size 34. And uh, gosh, 501s. I think they're straight cut. I can't remember. 32 inseam, color blue, men, fit regular waist size 34 model 501 denim usa cotton fabric wash we'll just choose one medium product line levi's 501 series this is nice i like that they do this um, and you can hit if there's if you don't see what you want in these three suggestions you can click here you can start to type something like if we put levi's 
look at all these 500 series and 600, 700 series Levi's pop up. So Levi's 501s, it's weird that the S is capitalized, but whatever. Features, pockets, whatever you want to select in here. There's all kinds of stuff to choose from. Whatever you think is going to help you out. Accents, uh, they have buttons. I don't know. Closure, button, and zip. I actually should probably, well, we don't want to put, no, we won't put zip because these are 501s. 501s are a button closure only. Vintage, yes. Uh, the rise is normally a mid. Distressed, we're calling them distressed. Season, I pick all of them. I should have already done this in our template. Because when do you wear jeans? All year round. People wear jeans all year round. So you can put that in your uh, in your template also. Pattern, solid, personalized, no. Five pocket design, blah, blah, blah. And you can click here. There's even more stuff that you can that you can choose from. It looks like it only added a couple of things here. So down, condition is our, we have pre-owned already selected. So um, in my description, remember I said, I'm going to, I always put my item title at the beginning. I'm just gonna copy and paste this. Copy, scroll down real quick, woo, paste. And then we've got men's size, we said 34 by 32. Actual measurements laid flat, 34 for the waist, inseam, 32. Rise, we're going to guess they're typically close to 11. And that's, I mean, if there are any defects, make sure you add that in here as well. Like I would put, uh, I always leave a, I'll leave a gap here so people actually see this stuff. I could probably take away that gap, but I like it. So right here, say, um, pull in back pocket if you if you had any defects make sure you list them here um pricing we're gonna put these uh levi's 501s vintage they're like 45 bucks 45 to 50 dollars this thing is saying look at this Woo! it disappeared somebody sold them cheap there's some 35 vintage 90s. This person doesn't know exactly what era they're from. I can show you guys that in another video as well if you're interested. Um, there's a channel called Loot Fam. If you want to learn all about Levi's and how to date them, check out Loot Fam on, on YouTube. They're awesome. I have learned so much from watching them. I have screenshots from their videos. Um, and I uh, I refer to them quite a bit. Allow offers. If you want a minimum offer, this is going to auto decline. Um, like if, if you don't want to accept uh, less than $35, put that here and it will automatically decline anybody who sends you an offer of under $35. I've been just leaving it alone lately. I've been getting a lot of 50% off offers. Not okay with that. I just either counter them back closer to what I'm asking or just decline if, if I feel offended at the moment, <laughs> honestly. Um, at volume pricing, we don't have multiples. If you do have multiples of something, you will put that in this quantity box right here. And then you want to add volume pricing. They get a little bit of discount if they order more than one of something. Schedule your listing. I don't ever do that. Um, and here we have. Small and medium items, there's our shipping is filled in, uh, priority, preferences, that's set in. Oh, here's the promoted listings. You'll hit that toggle if you're going to promote. You can change that rate here. I have a campaign set up. It automatically puts me at whatever the suggested rate is. Um, and that's it. So I'm just going to save this for later. And because uh, I'm actually not going to end up using it. But now... If you go, if you are doing multiple of something, like when I did the charms yesterday, uh, let's see, let's go back to listing templates and let's pick, let's do the vintage Levi's again. We'll go here, we'll hit create listing. And this is only if you want to do multiple of the same thing. Like if I'm doing five pair of jeans today, we'll use that as our, for instance. So this opens our base template. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and hit save for later. This will automatically take me back to the draft page, manage drafts, and here's that template that I just put in that's still blank. So we wanna click this little box here. So we have one here, we want to create a copy. So we need four more because we're gonna do 
five. Hit OK. And it's going to populate four more. And that'll give me, see there, one, two, three, four, five blank templates. So that is how um, I set those up. Once you get the hang of this, the first day that I started messing with templates, I went in and created templates for things that I know that I sell often, like the action figures. Um, I did, oh gosh, what else did I do? Let's see. Oh, hats. We do a lot of hats. Uh, here's Blu-rays. I did one for used and for sealed. Here's the Cracker Jack toy. This is actually the charms I was doing yesterday. Not all of them are Cracker Jack toys, but DVDs, new and sealed. Um, I did a bunch of Game Informer magazines the other day, motorcycle pins. I have specifically Harley Davidson motorcycle pins, plush. You can do this with any category. It's so amazing. I love this. It has helped me out a lot. So I hope that you guys can um, start using this tool too if you aren't already. And I hope that it will help you get through listings much faster. Um, it has definitely been a game changer for me. I have gone from around 1,300 listings to almost 1,500 in the last week. So uh, it has been an amazing tool for me. And I hope that you guys uh, get, get good use out of it and it helps you get your stores moving a little bit quicker. So that's it, guys. I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. I will see you guys next week. Bye.